Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Lab. In this video, I will explain how to log in in our School Management System. So let's go step by step. So first of all, I go to Resource Inside Views. Inside, I will create a one folder. Watch. Let's make a small zoom. Inside, I will create a one file. Login dot blade dot page. So you can see it here is a one file created login blade dot php. Let's open our projects in a jump server schools dot com. Because the server started, this is taking time. So just wait few minutes. Okay, now this is the we have already made a design. This is the login screen. So we already made a before design. So let's remove the signing with Facebook, signing with Google, and register as a member. We can remove. Okay. So we can go. Okay, I open one. We can go here and uh, we go roots. Inside webs. Now you can see the welcome file is calling. So let's remove this this one into this roots and we can create a new controller. So I go to projects. I open my terminal. I can type PHP artisan make controller or controller. I will create a auth controller after press enter. So is the controller creating? Okay, controller successfully created. Let's go to app HTTP controller inside auth controller. So you can see it here auth controller. Now we can create a roots. So is the our roots is a redirect to controller. So I can remove these files. Miss commented root get slash. After we do target, which controller we need to target? So the other controller is the auth controller. Let's copy name so we can do it quickly. Insides and class comma and login. Okay. I think small letter is good. Lovely. So I create here. Okay. Login. Return. View. What? 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 Let's copy welcome files. And put inside it. login screen. login blender page. So let's insert the page. Okay. Why then it is error? Okay, because we have not to make a semicolon. So let's go back and add semicolon and after save. Okay, another error because target class auth controller is missing. Why? Because we need to declare here use sorry use app HTTP controller controllers slash auth controller. Here. I refresh now so you can see our login screen open with HTML. So I go to insights and uh, I can remove some part. I don't need we need a forward password, so I just create a new URL later we can use. Open again and 
and uh, we can remove the like the Facebook sign in because I will explain in letters how to work and here we can make uh, like uh, URL same means slash login okay and here is the make emails here we can make a checkbox so with the easy reminders and also with the pay password so is all good everything is good here make a one token uh, let's find the tokens one minutes CRF fields okay I copy and I paste here okay now login form is ready so we can forward this login form to our auth controller means is a controller inside post method so we can create a new method inside webs I copy paste login auth login put here So we can find out all requests here. So that's one function request or and also I can already request about declare. So I already typed request. Okay. I paste it face. You can see is a all part mode. I can like uh, type like admin at their email.com password one two three four five six and reminder okay, I click on the sign in so you can see because the other name is not over this reason so we cannot forward other names let's go back we need to put here name required space also name is equal to email name is equal to password let's go to back Refresh page again. I can type again admin at the rate email.com. Whatever password, don't. I click on the login button so you can see it. We have found the emails, passwords, and also we can do here name is reminders. Name is not found. Is not a Okay. Now we have find out the like email passwords. So we need to combine our user table. So PHP article means local host PHP my admin. I can open and check our database. So right now we have no entry inside database. So we can add a manually one entry. Our database name is uh, like uh, schools.com. Last time we have created. And I go to user tables. I click on the inserts. I add a name admin. I can add also admin. Sorry, I can add admin at the rate gmail.com. And I will add a password. So let's create a one hash password, okay? So let's go back, use hash and I can create one password bd hash make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and I go to back and I refresh so you can see it is one password, I copy these passwords and I put here, okay whatever you can pass here saves so you can see it we have did one entry in database okay admin entered gmail.com I go back and uh, I can comment out this code I refresh now I can add again admin One, two, three, four, five, six. 
signing so this data i got so let's because this is the data and this is the password is matching so you need to log in otherwise you need to enter your password in fact so please enter correct password so let's make here authentication so i can use a like a auth use auth if auth attempt email is equal to dollar request email password is equal to dollar request password is a reminder but let's make a dynamic after once done after i make the else part else part is i can type return redirect redirect back and with error video i will show you how to user goal wise redirection but right now i am showing only login system how to login user okay so admin dashboard okay now correct let's let's me go to back again to login form and we can check reminders also make a reminder here so i create a variable reminders is not empty is not empty and we will prove otherwise for so we can put here reminder so also work done okay is a login system done and here i can make if if or chat is not empty so return redirect admin dashboard let's test now working not working okay everything is good i will refresh the page admin let's start admin Email dot com one two three four five six and reminder. I can go sign it. What is the issue? Because the matching not found. I think so. Not working. Emails one two three four five six one two three four five six. Okay, now user can log in. You can see it. See, let's make a. We can create only root routes now. Log out. Okay. So user can log out also. Let's log out. this routes this is the url i put here because right now i enter so is automatic back to login you see so i close it is not logged out so user can log out okay 
but let's show in the message suppose I invalid email and password you can enter so we need to show here messages so I create a new file here out I can remove this file we don't need anymore I remove I create a new file message.blade.php so inside message.blade.php we can add a like a so I can copy other resources we have already created all the files I copy and I put here so you can see it like a bootstrap we have used and we have used a session success error payment error warning info security primary like suppose right now we are using only this one so I put inside login screen and I can connect with it include message okay let's refresh the files admin one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so wrong password reminder okay no problem I can sign in is back showing the error but is a let's go back and check what is the error message I put here errors we are showing the messages saying the errors why not showing the errors let's go back and check checks he is showing the please enter correct email password but it is showing the like something opposite slow this one, you see is a like push trap some problem this reason I can remove the fed in let's remove this fed in class we don't need now anymore I can remove all the class control s and clear select different one okay let me refresh admin at the gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine and I click on the login screen again so showing the please enter correct email and password because we are a put wrong suppose we can put the right one two three four five six one two three four five six and I put the reminder is a your dependencies so do you need to make the re remember not reminder remember or not I can go sign in so user can log in and also you need to put here log out we can put this link any place like here I can put otherwise here also not here any place we can put log out button. right now I can't put so I will just click the logouts so user can log out in this video I will show you how to admin login and how to log out I will step there next video I will show you user wise login so school how to log in admin how to log in and teacher how to log in and parents how to log in so we can create our migration migration inside we are provided roles so everything's clear and so we can move the next step thank you for watching this video do you want to like this video please subscribe channel and thank you very much bye